Hi, Cancer. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your love and general tower reading for April 2018. So I'm going to read into love first and then just do a general reading with these cards to see if anything else comes out for those of you who just aren't really focused on love uh, during this time. Um, so let me... Well, first is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. If they don't, check your other signs. Or, of course, you could always request a personal reading from me. At the end, I'll tell you how to get there. Or you could just check the description box below. So I'm going to pull a card for love for from the uh, Romance Angels Oracle deck just to give you an overall feeling for love and maybe some advice. Uh, let's see. What is the advice? Okay. So they're saying for you to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I would think that for those of you who are currently single, that's definitely good advice for you. And, and I always just say, try to stay optimistic as much as you can. Even when things aren't working out, it's, and I know it can be so hard to do that. Um, you know, we're not, happiness is a choice. This is just basically how I feel about it. Um, you know, you can, when you wake up in the morning, you know, you do have the choice to be happy or sad. And I know some of you deal with situations that are traumatic, traumatic, and it's just a blanket of sadness that you, that you, uh, feel forced to wear. And I'm not talking about those of you who are grieving someone or something. That's a different story because you do need to go through that grieving process. Um, but less uh, situations, you know, if you can just do your best to be as optimistic about love, if you feel like there's no one you know, uh, no, no options, or there's just nothing going on uh, for you. Just try to remain in that this energy as best as you can. Really, that's really what the card is saying. Now, so your past position, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this, I will tell you, um, since it's a general reading, this can be male or female. If this was a personal reading, this would be a female. Um, but in this reading, I don't know really my audience are male or female, and this situation can go in either direction. Plus, you know, if you're female and you're interested in females, it's, it, you know, it, it's however you want to see it. Basically, the Queen of Pentacles is significant in some way. So uh, even if this is a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, if it's a male in your life, this person has more... Um, more of the yin energy where they're just, mm, I don't know, maybe not yin is the word, but well, it is yin, more feminine energy um, in the sense that they are more, maybe more somewhat of a homemaker. They still carry on that earthy like quality about them, uh, but they're a bit softer in their behavior. So that's your past position. Okay, so this could be someone who, you know, they could have Earth in their chart, uh, could be their rising, their Venus, their moon, whichever. Uh, they don't have to actually be an Earth sign. But I'm seeing here uh, a need for balance. And to me, this is emotional stability. Um, a need for, to put things in perspective in your love life right now balance things out. Try not to be too, too more to one side than the other. Uh, process your emotional and your logical thinking together, right? Um, for instance, like an example of that, and I don't really need to give you an example because you're smart people and you know what it means, but for an example, um, Uh, if you are if you are single and you are having trouble meeting people that uh, or holding relationships or anything like that, there could be this energy where maybe you are taking it personally, you know, or feel or blaming yourself or feeling like you're not good enough. Okay, uh, yet you have a lot of connections with people through work, right? So balancing it out would be okay. So. 
you know, I'm having trouble meeting people on an emotional level, but I do have all these amazing people that I work with, you know? So it's kind of like, and, and that benefits you in some way. So I, I guess in a way it's like saying for every negative thought that you may have, make sure you counterbalance that with a positive one. Okay. Because if not, you're just going to sink or you're just going to be too damn conceited or vain about yourself. And then that's not good either. It's always good to seek balance. You have the ace of cups in the position of what's challenging you. It's a benefit. It's also an obstacle. So again, as I was saying, trying to have that new, uh, new love or to open up new expressions, uh, maybe cancer for you. Um, you know, you're a water sign. Um, for some reason, there's maybe I feel like, okay, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign that has trouble expressing their emotions. And you may be trying to be understanding of that person, you know, or, or reasoning why they do that or trying to um, be patient and understanding of that person. Um, you, but you, you need that from them. And there might be, there might be way too much logic coming from this person and not enough emotion that you need. Okay, so I see you perhaps with temperance trying to temper yourself about that, you know, um, because this is an obstacle. It's in, well, it's not an obstacle. It's in that, it's in that position. Th this person, whoever you're dealing with, I do feel like, and this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a family member uh, or friend. Uh, this person does care very much for you. And that person does want to have a new emotional beginning with you. Um, cancer, and I'm gonna say this, it could be that some of you are just too overly emotional and um, having a problem with your emotional stability, okay? And maybe at one point you didn't, but something has turned you on your side and has caused you to be emotionally unstable, okay, um, or will be in the month of April. But I don't feel like it's anything that's, <sighs> it, it could be for some of you, it could be married. Uh, this could be with your spouse. That energy could be playing out. You could be thinking about this marriage is just killing you. Some of you may be feeling that way. You're trying so hard to take on this Empress energy where, you know, you're, some of you may find out you're pregnant or there's a feeling of, or there's a pregnancy that gets found out about, or I, I see you like what's grounding, what's driving you is to stay in the position of the Empress. And it's a struggle. It's a struggle for you, especially if, if even if it's not you having this emotional issue, it's just someone that you're dealing with. It may be a relationship or in a, a marriage that you're, it's almost like you are trying to get them to see your worth and your value, and they're just not expressing to you how much they care uh, or, or, or expressing to you how much they value you, but you know you're aware of it, but for some reason it's, it's, it's hurtful to you to some degree yet stay optimistic, right? So I see an end to a burden here. I'm sorry that this is so blurry. I think it's because it's getting dark and it's beginning to blur up. So I'm seeing an end to this burden that you've been carrying with someone or just in your life in general. But before I get to that, let me just talk about that life stuff in general. Even if you've got, some of you may be finding out in April that you, um, that you become pregnant or someone close to you where I kind of get a feeling you're needing this temperance card for some reason because it may, 
it may not be making you very happy. Or there may be a worry that the childbirth won't go well, or there's a chance that there might be an extinguishing of a child, uh, you know, in, in utero, um, in order to hold on to a relationship or marriage. It, some for some of you that could be playing out, or there is someone very. If you're male, this could be with uh, an earth sign, or it could also be with um, a Libra for some. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups talks about new birth. Okay, so in light of all of that, pregnancy, things like that, um, there's a challenge to this pregnancy, I'm feeling, or a possible challenge or a worry about it. Um, or there is a pregnancy coming up with someone close to you and you're worried about, you know, maybe you're hoping that they will get married or um, you're hoping things will work out or that the, or that it will go uh, very well. It will be healthy baby. So for some of you that, that, You've got that issue um, where you need to really balance your, temper your emotions in this situation, your fears and your worries, okay? Stabilize yourself in this situation. As far as career and work, you may have in the past had a very good job. And now it could be in April that... You're feeling like the, that you do like this job and you want to stay, but it's not fulfilling you emotionally. It's difficult to reach that place for you, okay? And you want more with the Empress. You want that new creative beginning. It's something that you, some of you may want to go into, I'm feeling um, like um, marriage counseling, not for yourself, but to as a career profession or helping others. Right. So I just kind of feel like it's not so much about the money for you right now as it is about you wanting to be um, fulfilled creatively. Do you know what I mean? But as I was saying, whatever was is happening here, I feel like you're you know you're coming to an end of the end of a, a situation or a burden either with this person or or the situation in general. Um, because I just, I kind of feel like you've been carrying this, this heavy pack on your back and it's been weighing you down for a long time. You, some of you may have been wanting to get into a committed relationship with someone and you want that person, if you've been dating them, to see you, uh, to see your worth and see who you are and see your value and things like that. And they've been kind of just emotionally closed off. And, and so you're um, now with the 10 of wands coming to this place where you're just, it's too much of a burden for you and you just can't be bothered with it anymore. Um, am I seeing a breakup? Not necessarily, but I am seeing it's reached its peak for you. And you don't have, uh, you can only be as much as you can be to someone. And if they don't recognize it or they don't want to have a new beginning or a new love, uh, you know, um, married or getting to something more committed with you, you are, you know, you will balance yourself out. You'll stabilize yourself, but you're moving on. I feel you're moving on. You, you're, you know, you're going to unload <laughs> that bag at this point. You've got the wheel of fortune here in the position of you and your advice. So even for career, or if you're thinking of changing a job or even just co like completely, like say you worked in a bank and now you want to, um, you know, be a humanitarian or travel the world for the Red Cross. Like, I mean, such a, a contrasting change 
in your life, I feel that this is a favorable time to start thinking about that or doing that, making great changes or a great change to taking a risk um, to do something completely different that it's not so much about the money anymore. It's about your emotional fulfillment and what it brings to you. And, and because of that, you reap re greater rewards than where you are right now. Right. So your advice is to, you know, pay attention to the signs that, you know, things are now turning in your favor for you and take advantage of that. So here you have the Ace of Pentacles in your environment. So again, as I was saying, the opportunity, there's going to be uh, offers coming in for you. And, and even if this is a relationship with, with this particular person where you've just unloaded your pack here, you're done. Now, now this person starts offering something more tangible to you. Okay. Um, something shifts and I think it's you because you're, you're not carrying the weight. You can't, you can't, you can't have all that love for you and the other person It, it has to be reciprocal. And, um, it's funny because I was going to clarify this Wheel of Fortune card here, and then I looked at it, and then I decided not to. But now I said the word reciprocal, and the Six of Pentacles came up, and that's a card about that, reciprocity, give and take, even equal sharing. So, I mean, it's in here somewhere, of course, but I'm going to look for it. So I feel like, uh, yeah, if you've been overdoing it or doing too much, trying to hold up the entire ship, yourself, uh, being the entire ocean, the water, um, you just, mm -mm, you're just, blah, I'm done with it. You've got the star here in your hopes and fears. And that's more of a hope because your faith gets restored in another person. Your faith gets restored in a marriage, in, in your, um, hopes and dreams and the things that you want to do. I see you just putting an end to things that aren't working for you anymore and you get your faith back or you're hoping for someone <laughs> who's got star-like quality, <laughs> whatever it is. Now, here you go. So at the end of the month, you've got reconciliation and truthful communication coming to you. Okay. So this is going to be with someone in particular coming back around, maybe you, maybe you don't necessarily end a relationship with someone, but you do offlift the burden that you've been carrying. And maybe to them, they realize the absence or the void. And now they have to start putting in their effort in their side. And then here, I feel like they actually come out into the open with the judgment card and they speak their truth, they reveal, and there's communication now, like true, true communication comes out. And it's not just talking, it's talking about how we're going to overcome these obstacles. And even in, um, you know, your changing, if you're changing a career for you, um, you, it, it reve you reveal yourself to yourself it or it becomes revealed to you through communication with other people about yes this is the right path this is what i should be doing this is what i want to do um or or things begin to open up for you opportunities uh i i feel like um maybe some of you are going to revamp your resumes or you know start putting yourself out there and there's a lot of communication online. You're going to, uh, a lot of things will begin to be revealed to you. Truths will come out. Um, so even, even in every area of your life and, and with whomever you are currently dealing with or were dealing with in the past, um, you know, this Ace of Cups, even though it's in this challenged position, it's still upright. So there is a new beginning that's on the horizon but you um, need to, you know, stop doing the work for both people. Uh, it takes two. So for you, it's, you know, 
you you've been doing the work for both and i see you just saying no i'm dropping it and i'm i'm going on i'm f- figuring out which direction i want to go now i see you doing that i don't like i said i don't see you leaving a relationship or leaving a person i just see you redirecting towards yourself towards what's right for you what's good for you having this new beginning for yourself that's what i see you that's what you want right you want to start over and be that if you're female, that goddess, you know, Uh, take your place. That's what you want to take your place, take your position and remember who you are. And I see you doing that during this time frame, or at least the energy is there for you to embrace. So if you don't do that in uh, April, you know, then create the energy. (laughs) Sometimes this is a result of you creating all of that. Okay. So I feel like your, your reading is good. Uh, and I, you know what? I say that after just about every reading I do. I'm not tooting my horn. I just, I feel really strongly that it's not so much about, you know, looking for predictive type readings, but finding ways to improve upon where you are right now. That's always the best guidance you could get. If any tarot card reader really just tells you, okay, on June 3rd, um, you know, this particular thing is going to happen. I mean, they can give you kind of like an idea based on the cards, uh, but you know, you have free will. It's up to you to make the decisions after getting this advice. You know, it's like, if you're going to, you know, you're going to a counselor, you go for advice. That person does not tell you what to do. And I will not tell you what to do. But if I could just show you that there's options and other choices, it's really the truth is you already know, you already know. So I feel like especially cancer, you're so intuitive, and you've got such deep emotions, like you really do know yourself uh, better than anybody ever could. And, And so you have so much power over yourself. And if you feel like you don't, you really do. You truly do. And um, I feel very positive for you for the month of April. So I wish you all the best. And again, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, please just visit my website, www.moonpytarot.com. All right. And I will see you next month. Take care. Bye.